All right, people. So today we're going to be talking about five scientific triggers that causes a man to regret losing you. Jesus Christ, I thought it was triggers to make him fall in love with you. Um, all right, let's see what he has to say. This is my boy, Elliot Scott. I've always been a fan of his. Um, if you guys enjoy this, hit up, hit up. Hit him up, actually. <laughs> um, he's a great YouTuber. <clears throat> so let's begin this. And by the way, 50% uh, off my course, Emotional Mastery. It's gonna be from it's gonna be from the from the 23rd of August to the 3rd of September, using the coupon code Mind. All right. The reason why I'm doing this is because while you guys are watching this, I'm in a, I'm in a med med I'm in a meditation retreat. So um, support Father Alex and help him pay tuition. By purchasing my courses, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's begin with this. What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And what if I told you that I am going to give you scientific ways to trigger a man to regret leaving you, to regret losing you, to regret pulling away, and for you to regain power? Jesus Christ, he's gonna, he doesn't know what's coming to him. That's what this video is about, so let's jump right into it. So the first thing I want to talk about is letting him go through the complete uh, decision-making process and when it comes to losing somebody or pulling away and regretting it I talked about this in another video there's four stages okay and I want to go through all these because a lot of women do not let it's like stage two or three she comes back or she lets him back in or she does something wrong and she wonders why he um, you know he's he's taking his time and he's not missing her so the four stages are the first is the initial stage meaning it's, it's very evidence-based every single thing that he has seen with you, uh, that he has, I guess, uh, reflected on, that he has um, just a perspective of is in his head. And from all that evidence, he is thinking, okay, you know what? From what I know, from all the information that I have right now at this moment, it is more of a risk. And when I say risk, it's usually a risk towards like um, the advantages or like his tr what, what he actually wants. So if he wants sex and you want a relationship, uh -huh. um, that's obviously gonna not, not going to work out. Or if he wants an ideal woman to settle down with and you're not that woman, then again, that's a risk. So it would be a higher risk for him to stay than for him to leave. Therefore, he is convinced he is in the mindset, right? And the reason I want to say mindset is... Uh, My boy got the salt and pepper. My boy got the white hair, people. People, I got white hair too, man. Like, I got white hair too. So Elliot Scott is in the same boat, man. I know how you feel, Elliot. Oh, Lord, does that suck when you first see your first white hair. A lot of women will be like, you know, it's been two weeks. It's been a month. I'm hurt. When does he come back? He, he's in the mindset. You you cannot convince him right now. Mm -hmm. He does not feel like he made the wrong decision. It's evidence-based. It's what pushed him away to make this decision in the first place, okay? So um, that's stage one. He sees everything. He's like, okay, this is what I got to uh, gotta do. Stage two is now living that out. Because he believes this is the best thing to do, um, he has to live it out and, again, get evidence. See yeah, it's almost like he needs to see it for himself. That's the case. So he's going to do that for a while. Then that goes to stage three. Now he knows what's like with and without you. And this is where he starts reflecting. And ladies, this will always... And this reflection usually is nostalgia, where the brain will exaggerate the positive memories and will diminish the negative memories all in the goals of attracting you towards them. It's happened. That's the good news, right? But... A lot of the times, women respond to his text. Women will do some stupid ass 30 day, 45 day, 60 day, 90 day, no contact. Stupid ass. Contact and then reach out with something stupid or uh, like his shit on Instagram or look, look at his shit. And then they wonder why he, you know, he's not coming back around because you're not giving him an opportunity to miss you, which we'll get into all that. But so that so third stage is he's going to reflect on these things and he is going to reminisce. Ladies. He is going to think about you. He is going to uh, wonder if he made the right decision, which then transitions into stage four, which is, OK, do I regret it or not? And based off of that, um, what am I going to do next? Yeah. Think about it, people. Usually the people who feel regret about doing things are older people. The people who feel regret about not doing things is younger people. I think that's right. Yeah. I don't know about that. Right, the new evidence. Okay, so that's number one. Number two kind of goes off of that. These all go off each other, so that's the good thing about this video, but it's called outcome valence. And what this basically states is the positive or negative nature of the outcome versus what's expected or what's happening. So if he is, um, again, you, I tell women this all the time, regret is self-inflicted. You have to give, I know I'm a broken record, I apologize. You have to give a guy a reason, okay, the opportunity to miss you. If... And if you're always on his dick, not like in the literal sense, where you're chasing, where you're trying to look for certainty, you're, he's never going to feel that re regret. Space is what's required. Just like oxygen is required to make fire, space is required for him to feel that. You know what I'm saying? And if you cannot control your emotions, well, you got to practice on meditation, boo-boo. You got to practice on meditation. You better go buy that book, The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. 
You better go Google how to meditate because meditation will lower the, acti the, the, the intense activity of the amygdala and increase the activity of the pre prefrontal cortex, which allows you to become more rational and be able to handle pain. Or you could purchase my course, Emotional Mastery, You're using the coupon code MIND for 50% off. If he pulls away, and let's say it doesn't go so well, right? Let's say he's like, oh man, I kind of miss her, or man, she was actually really cool, but you're still hovering around. He doesn't feel that pressure. He doesn't feel like, okay, I need to jump the gun and, and come crawling back because she's done with me or I don't want to lose my chance. No, he sees that you're waiting. He sees that you're eager, especially if he's the one who left you and you're trying to make it work. He knows he has the power. Yo, did Elliot record that? It looks like he recorded Sorry, it. But at least outcome valence is, 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 is really important. You have to understand it's, he has to, he has, he has an idea of what it's going to be like leaving you, right? And then there's the reality of it. It has to smack him in the face. You, he cannot feel that if you are hovering around, if you are hopeful. I always tell women. That yeah, it's almost like, it's almost like when parents and kids fight. Sometimes the best thing to do is to leave each other alone for a few days, weeks, or even months. Space, time has an ability to heal more than anything. It's like if you have a cut. What's the best thing you could do? Surgery? Okay, okay. Put some cream or vitamin C. You can put all of that. But the one thing, the, the most important thing is time. Time heals all people. That, that is so true. And unfortunately with guys, guys process their emotions a little bit longer. It takes guys a longer time to process emotions. Women process it quicker. That's why women want to talk it out quick and guys need space. So if you want him to regret you, to get to the point of regret, a man takes longer periods of time than women. Women will regret shit quicker. A man would take a little bit longer to come to that conclusion that women usually do a little bit quicker. And this is why you lose the game. Like, men just don't give a shit. Women do. You're so outcome dependent, and, and then you wonder why, you know, um, you know you're chasing men and they're not chasing you. But if a man realizes that, um, okay, well, this is the decision I, I, I made, and this is the expectation I get with it, and it doesn't go as well. And again, this does kind of go off number one, like I said, where you are, you know, he, it does take a while. He is going to... Um, you know, he is going to try to experience being alone, being single in that lifestyle. Then from that, we are hoping that uh, what triggers is it's not what he thought it would be. Basically, grass is what And, and it's, like he said, triggers. You got to hope that it triggers regret because sometimes it doesn't. he doesn't feel regret. Sometimes he won't give a fuck. It's just that simple. And in fact, sometimes, I don't know if he talks about it, but seeing, other, seeing you happy with another man will sometimes trigger regret. You know, like it's almost like when you didn't want something. But then you see somebody else want it, all of a sudden you want it. It's almost the same thing. Side. It's fun to think about being single and talking to other women when you know you have the security of a relationship and you take her for granted. But then when you're out there and you don't got the fucking game that you thought or girls are playing games on him, that he might come back around. Number three is a term that some, I don't know, I talked to people about this before and they never heard it. Uh, but it's called winning the breakup. Who do you think is going to be in a better position? Uh, I guess talk, about talk about ego, people. Holy shit. Mentally and emotionally. If you were watching him and he was miserable and you were doing well off or vice versa. He left. He feels like he made the right decision. He's happy. And then he looks at you and you're, and you're you know, you're quiet crickets. You're not posting anything. You're, um, you're besides like maybe sappy little things on Facebook, shit like that. You have to win the breakup. This people don't agree with me on this, even though I'm hundred percent right. People are selfish. Humans are selfish. We want to have advantages over other people. We want to avoid risk, avoid pain and seek pleasure. We want to know. This guy's preaching fucking truth. The decision we made was the right decision. If you are miserable, and I, as the guy, am reflecting on this, and I'm not feeling anything, you know, I feel like, okay, I gained, you lost. How do I know that? The evidence is right in front of me. You have to win the breakup, ladies. Um, whether it's pulling away or actually breaking up, you have to go out and have fun. I'm not saying rough shit in his face. You have to go out. Talk yeah, to don't, don't back the whole football team. All right, <laughs> guys, you have to go out with your girls. Um, you have to post those gym pics. You have to have a life outside of weeping on this guy. He has to see it because he, here's what's going to happen. There's I always tell women it's not if it's when there's going to be a time where both of you have a weak moment. Always happens. Now, it doesn't mean you're going to act on it. And it's usually during the holidays, like honestly, holiday season or even a pandemic. Like, like a perfect example was, was the pandemic, right? Where a lot of dudes came back to their exes because they were desperate. But there's the, the, the chance that you can. There's always going to be the chance you have the week or the, the opportunity. Sorry, there's always going to be an opportunity of a weak moment, uh, whether it's a lonely Saturday night, something reminds you of someone, a sense. Maybe you're the only single person at the party, whatever. OK, and if he feels that misery and knows again, if he doesn't know, you might be like he blocked me on every or I blocked him on everything. OK, it doesn't matter. You still have to play accordingly. You, you don't want to crack before him is what I'm saying. So, <laughs> yo, Ellie is a savage, bro. You have to play the role. You have to win the breakup. You have to be the best actress ever. If he pulls Jesus away, Christ, Elliot. Hey, there's no initiating. He has to come back to you. You have to win the breakup. I know I'm repeating myself, but you have to win. the breakup. I get it. He has to feel like, oh, fuck. 
I cracked first. She's probably happy as hell. And if you've seen your stuff... Oh, uh, nothing makes me more mad than knowing my ex is happy without me. Jesus fucking Christ, man. I get so angry. Uh, that's just... That's my evil self. She's happy as hell. What was I thinking? I'm sitting here miserable. And then again, he reflects on those two things. The evidence shows I made the wrong decision. He comes back. Mm -hmm. And ladies, if you like everything I'm talking about so far, um, I do have a six guide bundle down below on no contact, maximizing attraction, what to do with, and what to say when he comes back. All, all these... Bro, make a... I'm, I'm talking to you, Elliot. Make a video course. How about that? Okay, make that into a video course. I'm trying to help them out here. I'm talking about so far, uh, they, they transition or they translate to a thing called counterfactual thinking. And what this basically means is um, when you start to regret it, um, or, or if you start to reminisce or reflect on it, you think, well, did I make the right decision? Could I have done something mm -hmm. differently? And you really want a guy to feel that. And again, sorry for being the broken record, but you have to pull back and act as if you are never going to hear from him again. You want, because he's not going to think this. If you are hovering around, he's not gonna think, man, I should have done something differently, even though she's hovering around and waiting to fucking ride the D, you know, for me to come back. Like he's not, that's, do you see how weird that, that sounds? Like that's not going to happen. That's not a thing. He, he, guys just don't like regret something when there's nothing to regret it. He, he has to reflect on it and think, did I do something wrong? Did, could I have done something differently? And, and naturally, when somebody likes you, they'll blame themselves. Like seriously, when somebody likes you, they'll blame themselves because by them blaming themselves, it means they have some form of control, you know? And you want him to soak in that mindset. Again, the mindset. Jesus Christ, somebody help this man. There's a four stages. The mindset transition. Holy shit. You want him to soak in that. And the longer you hold out, the more you're having fun. You're winning the breakup. You're not saying a word to him. And you're making it very evidence based that, uh, oh, it's over, bro. Like, you want to leave? Go do you. He's going to be like, fuck, what, is there something else I could have done? Which then creates a psychological power change where he, where he feels like he has to make up for it. And number five, lastly, is the ability to repair the regret. Now, this is a term that I came up with. Based, well, I mean, it's a real thing, but it's just a term. Um, the ability to repair the regret. And what I mean by that is when he pulls away, how easy is it to fix? Um, you do not want a guy to feel like, oh, no, you do, sorry. You do want a guy to feel like the longer I wait, the worse it gets. Um, I'm not sure. Should I talk to her? I do miss her. Uh, she's awesome, but... You know, I, I, want, I want to hold my ground. You want him to eat himself up alive with that decision. You want to make it very hard. I know this sounds counterintuitive. You want to make it Counterintuitive? Hard. Sounds evil. <laughs> but it's true. Like, it's true. Reality, it could look a little evil. You know, it's kind of true what he's saying. For him. Because, like, again, if you make it easy, he's going to take you, he's going to take you for, for granted in the breakup. Like, who the fuck does that? Who takes someone? Like, who's that pathetic where you let a dude take you for granted during the breakup? You know, where it's like, oh, I could come back. She ain't going anywhere. I'll come back when she's when, when, when I want to. Now, he has to feel like, oh, man, if I need, if I, if I have to make a decision, it needs to be right now. Because if I wait any longer, she's going to go talk to this dude that she Yeah, it's almost like, like, um, like a, like a time constraint or, or um, letting, him, letting him know that there's competition as a result, he needs to make a decision quickly. That's why I tell you, anytime a guy says, I'll wait, anytime his guy says, give me another month, give me another two months, or like after I'm done with this, then we'll work together. Or if you tell a guy I'm leaving, and he says, okay, and if it, if it does, if it, okay, and come back if you ever want to. Anytime a guy lets you walk away, or lets you be in the market, or lets you be entertained by another man, that guy doesn't like you. He's too comfortable. What if, what if you meet Tyrone, the personal trainer, and you like him? Like, guys don't take that type of risk when they really like you. Got a post on, or that I saw her at the party with, or, you know, whatever. She's, she, you know, I, I hear through the grapevine that she's, you know, she's having a good time. Like, you don't want him to think that, oh, man, she's, oh, sorry, you do want him to think, oh, man, she's done. Like, she's having a good time. She don't care, with, you know, if I'm in or out of her life. You want him to think that because you want him to come back and fix it before it's too late. Basically, you don't, you, you want him to dig himself in a hole that's so deep that he can't get out of it. So he has to make a decision before he gets Oh, out. yeah, yeah, It makes some, it's almost like when you're procrastinating and you feel the deadline, which that deadline for this is you finding somebody else, and it gets people to work harder. It gets a man to work hard for your attention. A man is only romantic because of insecurity. When a man is not, when a man feels like he has you, he's not that romantic. It's how people work, man. It is what it is. Um. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Elliot Scott, <laughs> man, he's a savage, man. You guys should check him out. Um, if you guys like my content, you guys will definitely like his content. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys ever want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, go to mindforattraction.org. Um, join the Robert Green Book Club by clicking, by becoming a Patreon member. And I'll see you guys later. Take care. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys haven't purchased any of my courses, we have a special bundle deal for everyone. Um, so that you can purchase all of my courses, meaning you could purchase the Psychological Game of Attraction, Natural Chemistry, and Nice Girl, along with all of the bonuses. Originally, if you purchase everything without the bundle, it'll be around 400 around $500, to be honest with you. Um, but right now, if you guys purchase it, 
with the bundle, you guys will be able to get all of these courses, Psychological Game of Attraction, which is for women for women who are single, Natural Chemistry, which is for women who are in a relationship, Nice Girl, which is a course on assertiveness, along with all of the bonuses, Social Mastery, Practical Mastery in terms of how to master anything, Social Mastery in terms of how to master your social skills, and The Laws of Human Nature, wherein I, it's part of the Robert Greene book club I used to have. All of these naturally like i said it's 500 now you get it at 394 which is essentially 20 percent off everything but if you guys want to purchase a more affordable bundle you guys can purchase the bundle without the bonuses and that will be at two um 224 rather than the 300 well, rather than the 293 that you guys will naturally purchase it so you could purchase it with the bundle or without the bun uh, um you can purchase it with the bonuses or without the bonuses. Um, it's all of the work that I put in the last four years, um, in the last five years actually, all of the research that I've done, and this course, rather than watching all of my videos, and because they, they could be random and you could sort of like lose the big picture because there's just so many videos, you guys get all of the content condensed in a course. Trust me people, if you guys purchase this, you won't regret it. Um, if you haven't purchased it, hopefully this will push you towards it um, because it's something that I believe in and everyone who, who's purchased my course um, have been satisfied with it. And if they didn't like it, I always give my money. I always give their money back. I have never rejected a refund. All right. So purchase it right now. Click on the description down below where it says pur purchase the bundle and I'll see you guys inside.